quite far though. Less or very little traffic. Where? Which is very, going to work and going home. Mm.
a few comments and DMs recently asking if I could share some book recommendations and I'm really more than happy to talk about uh, my favorite books. I also want to preface this by saying that when it comes to the books that I usually read or consume, I definitely have a preference. I tend to gravitate more towards historical fiction or histofic, but today I hope I've curated a diverse enough selection of books to share with you. I really hope you enjoy this, so let's begin. The Night Circus by Erin Morgenstern. Uh, this book is extremely well loved. I read this book when I was 12 or 13. You can see from the spine of the book, it's been read over and over, and the pages are pretty much all yellow now. This is my favorite fantasy novel. I enjoy fantasy books. It's not my favorite genre, but it's definitely in my top five. This is a book on magical realism. So the book mainly centers on Marco and Celia, so they are rivals. They are enemies who are meant to best each other, so they are in a competition. It's a novel that spans multiple timelines. What I think really hooked me on this book is that ongoing theme that if you're not going to win, you are going to lose and die. And we see how willing the characters will go to sacrifice their own well-being and their own safety for the sake of their beloved. I think it's a fantastic book. I would highly recommend this. I don't think this is as popular as it was almost a decade ago, but I think it's still such an incredible read. I highly, highly recommend it. So next is a very recent read. I read this last week. I posted it on my Instagram. So this is When Breath Becomes Air by Paul Kalanicki. The bulk of the text is written by Paul or Dr. Kalanicki. This book talks about his journey being a doctor, it talks about his childhood, his journey in medical school, his residency, etc. And eventually when he found out that he uh, was in fact uh, dealing with cancer and his married life and how of course it affected him and his family. I thoroughly enjoyed this book. It was I would say a heavy read. It was not a book that I could continuously read all in one go. But with this book, because it does, you know, get heavy, it does talk about cancer, it does talk about his struggles, and it talks about it in an incredibly candid way. It doesn't undermine his struggles. He never once sugarcoated what he went through. It doesn't glamorize or romanticize cancer, which I really adore about this book. It's challenging to read, not because the language is difficult, but because it talks about things that were uncomfortable. Whether or not the life you've already lived has been worth it. I really think that this is a type of novel that everyone should read. It makes you ponder on the things that you have done, the things you have accomplished. If those things are meaningful to you, or if those are only made valid by the opinions of others, and if you've truly lived a life that is of great consequence to you, and what are the things that you still want to do if you still have any time left. So I really highly recommend this book. It's a fantastic, incredible, poignant read. 100% recommend it. Uh, next is Pachinko by Min Jun Lee. So this book has multiple perspectives. It also has multiple books within the book. This book primarily centers on a Korean family who has moved to Japan during World War II. I really did enjoy the multiple perspectives in this novel, but I did like the earlier generations much more than the newer generation. What I adore most about this novel is how Min Jun Lee talks about the war and its consequences generations after the original family went through all of those harrowing experiences. The character building in this novel is really unparalleled. I think Min Jin Lee crafted every single character realistically and with so much intent and purpose. Every single character has a role in this book. They aren't just fillers or side characters. Everybody makes sense. And I especially love the familial relationships in this novel. She constantly reinforces the theme that there is no place for war except for in our history books and never in our future and how war will always be a painful viscerally terrible thing and that there is absolutely no way to romanticize or glamorize war i really really highly recommend this novel this novel will make you think it will make you feel and more importantly i think this novel will make you laugh at some point I recommend. So the next book is an extremely popular read. This is The Song of Achilles written 
by Madeline Miller. If you are unfamiliar, this is based on Homer's Iliad, the epic. Uh, this is the Iliad. I read the Iliad in secondary school, which I also enjoyed. Miller explores the relationship between Patroclus and Achilles. It explores their friendship and eventual romantic relationship. The way this book is written is just absolutely divine. Honestly, this book feels a lot more like poetry than it feels like prose. She writes in such a splendid way where I feel like I'm physically there where she is describing. And it's not just the scenery that she depicts so well, but it's the emotions of the characters. I think the reason why a lot of people enjoyed this book it's because this book is incredibly vulnerable. We see how Patroclus and Achilles at their very core are just young men who are terrified of the future that lies ahead of them, of the uncertainty, and how all they are certain about is that they love each other and that this war is going to be gruesome and it is going to be heartbreaking for the both of them. I absolutely adore this novel. Okay, I wish I could read it again for the very first time. I just find that Miller's way of narrating their love story is such a refreshing take on it. I think that no other author, in my opinion, has written about Achilles and Patroclus like Miller has. And if you've seen this novel in the front of your bookstore it's there for a reason it's incredible so much hype surrounds this book but it is hyped up for a reason i recommend so those are all of my book recommendations i hope you enjoyed the segment of this video i would love to know about your book recommendations if you have any recommendations please share them with us in the comments thank you so much
Thank you.